Hello guys, it's Claudio here tuning in. Today we cover the past continues or the past progressive. In Italian called il passato progressivo. Or at least this is how I call it because I've had a look at a few grammar books and they don't mention it. But anyway, this is what it is. Examples of the past continues in English. I was being a dick. Sorry. They were having a good time. He was doing the talking, so she had to do the doing. So basically, every time you have a subject, the verb to be in the past simple, and the gerund of the verb that you want in the past continues, you have your past continues. If you don't know how to make the gerund in Italian, then I recommend you go back and watch the present continues, because that's where I explain it. If you don't know what the personal pronouns are, then I recommend you go and watch that video as well. In a nutshell, these are the personal pronouns that you need for today. The subject personal pronouns, meaning I, you, he, she, we, you all and they. Io, tu, lui, lei, noi, voi, loro. We said in the present continuous video that we do not use the verb to be. In Italian. So in English you have your subject, the verb to be, and then your verb. But here you have the verb to stay or stare. And then you have the gerund of the verb that you need in the past continuous. So let's have an example. The verb to eat is mangiare. And of course you need the verb in the infinitive form. And if you look up a verb on the dictionary, you will find it in its infinitive form, which is its standard form. Now we separate the stem, which is the root of the verb, from the ending, and then we understand what kind of verb this is. Is it an are type verb, an ere type verb, or an ire type verb? In Italian we have three types of verbs, and this is an are type verb. How do we know? Well, the ending tells us. We take the stem and we place it right here. Now we have the gerund of the verb to eat, which in English would be eating. So mangiando. So what we do is we pick it up and we place it after the verb to stay. So we have our subjects, the verb to stay, conjugated according to what person is doing the action and then the gerund. The gerund never changes. It's not case sensitive, it's not gender sensitive, and it's not number sensitive. So the plurality does not matter. You have the first person plural, second person plural, third person plural, first person singular, second singular, third person singular, it doesn't matter. There's only one single version of the gerund. Let's say they want to say we were eating. Then we place it right here and we have our sentence. Noi stavamo mangiando. That's it. This is how you build and make the past continuous in Italian. You make the gerund of the verb that you need and then you have your subject and the verb to stay in the past simple conjugated according to what person is doing what. So in this case it's us, we. So we need stavamo. Stavo, stavi, stava, stava, stavamo, stavate, stavano. There is a subtlety. I don't know if you noticed but I didn't pronounce the last three in the following way. Stavamo, stavate, stavano. But I pronounced stavamo, stavate, stavano. So be careful when you pronounce the last one. It's not stavano, but it's stavano. So the pitch is on the first A and not on the second A. Which is strange because you would expect the pitch to be on the second A as for the previous two. So here you go, you know everything about the past continues in Italian. Hope you guys have found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Yeah, 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 yeah.